Sarah was a beautiful 23-year-old girl who had recently moved to Sydney, Australia. Thanks to the influence of her family, she had a chance at a new life in a city which was very different from where she had been living before. Everything was new to her. The people, the natural landscapes, the busy streets. With the little bit of money that she had from her parents, Sarah moved into an apartment complex that was near a forest, since it felt the closest thing to home. One day, her new friend Riley told her that he had just found the snake hiding in his closet and he didn't know what to do. Thankfully for Riley, he was talking to the perfect person for the job. Sarah excitedly offered to help Riley with his predicament and remove the snake from his home carefully. Riley warned her that the snake could be venomous and she should proceed with caution. Sarah nodded confidently and reassured him that she knew how to handle it as she had experience with snakes back home. The two went to Riley's apartment and Sarah was able to get a quick hold on it. Riley was shocked to see Sarah handle such a wild animal so calmly. Sarah picked the snake up and walked out towards the forest to release it. Riley paid her money for the job which was her first income since arriving in Sydney. She called home to tell her parents and they congratulated her for making her way out there. On the phone, her father said, I'm so proud of you, darling. Your life is really is turning around for the better. Remember where you were just a few months ago? Be grateful that you aren't still there now. Sarah's father had a point. Just a few months prior, Sarah had been living with her husband near Kangaroo Valley, the place she grew up in. Her father owned a cattle farm there and was also the town's very own snake catcher. Since she was little, Sarah's father would bring her with him to catch snakes whenever people would call him to remove the unexpected serpent guests from their homes or businesses. Eventually, Sarah started to get used to the snakes and became very good at handling them. She knew a lot about snakes and wasn't frightened at all. Working as the only female snake catcher in the area, Sarah received a lot of attention and soon became widely known for her talents. One day, Sarah got a call from one of the hotels in town. Right under one of the bushes near the tennis courts, there was a large black snake. Sarah arrived with her equipment, which consisted of nothing more than a big brown bag and snake tongs. Much to the relief of the guests, the young snake catcher was able to remove the snake with a few swift moves. All the guests who had scurried away and watched from a safe distance then applauded Sarah. They were very impressed with her skills. One guest in particular was intrigued by the beautiful snake catcher. The very handsome man then approached Sarah. He introduced himself as Ali and made a smooth move by asking her on a date to show his appreciation for what she had done. He didn't seem so interested in the snake catcher act, but more so in Sarah for her beauty and radiance. Sarah had been single all her life and was easily charmed by this mysterious dark handsome man. They ended up going on a few dates with each other. As Sarah started to get to know Ali better, it turned out that he was from a very successful and famous family. Although Sarah was a simple girl brought up on a farm, she appreciated the fancy gifts and luxurious experiences that Ali provided for her. Even with the changes in her relationship and life, Sarah remained true to herself and still practiced the things that she loved like snake catching. Although Ali admittedly thought it was a bit strange, he tried to accept her and not let it affect their relationship. Ali promised Sarah and her family that they would never have to worry now that he was in the picture. If only that was true. When Sarah and Ali got married, their relationship unfortunately took a turn for the worst. Ali started to pressure Sarah to stop working with snakes. He said that it was not what people in their class did and it was embarrassing to him. Sarah's pet snake, whom she had taken with her when she moved in with Ali, didn't like Ali and would snap at him whenever he was around. Although Sarah wanted to make the relationship work, she also didn't want to sacrifice the one thing she really loved. One day, Ali threatened her. If she didn't get rid of the snakes, then she would be sorry. Sarah was afraid of this side of Ali that she had never seen. After the wedding, his real color started to show, and he had a major anger problem that only seemed to get worse. One night, 
Ali came home completely intoxicated and started to curse at Sarah. He blamed her for his failing business and said she was tarnishing the family's image with her snake catching. Sarah tried to flee with her pet snake, but Ali caught her and hit her. Following this incident, Ali found more reasons for displaying his dominance over Sarah on several occasions. Sarah was devastated and scared for her life. As the tension between the two grew bigger, Ali had a feeling that Sarah was going to find a way to escape from him. He wanted total control over Sarah, and if he couldn't have that, he was going to turn to extremes. One day, Ali spotted a plane ticket in Sarah's purse and she thought this would send him over the edge. They had a huge argument that lasted forever. But instead of doing what he had always done to Sarah, Ali, being under the influence of alcohol, once again said, You know what? I'm sick and tired of this. I won't beg you to stay. Get out and take that filthy snake with you. That same night, Sarah got on a plane to Sydney and never looked back. For the next months, Sarah continued her life in this new city, fascinated by the local wildlife and making new friends. She often shared stories of her snake catcher abilities and her pet snake with her friends who were amazed by her talents. She even started volunteering at a local animal rescue center to gain more experience working with different types of animals. Unfortunately, tragedy struck one day when Sarah's friend Riley received a call from Sarah's landlord. They had found Sarah's lifeless body in her apartment and the cause of death was unknown. Sarah's friends and family were devastated by the news and struggled to come to terms with the sudden loss of such a vibrant and talented young woman. Sarah's pet snake was found unharmed, but there were no signs of foul play or forced entry into her apartment. It seemed as though Sarah had simply passed away, suddenly and unexpectedly. Ali, who was legally still her husband, showed up at the funeral and blamed Sarah's death on the snake telling them that it bit her and killed her with its venom. Sarah's parents were distraught over the loss of their daughter, but found it hard to believe that her beloved snake could be the cause of death. They attended the funeral along with everyone else from town, but what they saw there was the last thing they ever expected. They laid Sarah's body down into the grave and began to cover her with dirt when suddenly her pet snake appeared. Her father, knowing how much the snake was attached to Sarah, allowed the animal to say its final goodbye. The serpent then wrapped itself around her arm. Ali, who stood nearby, then suddenly said, Remove that vile creature from her. Sarah's friends and family noticed something strange about her beloved pet snake. The usually docile creature seemed agitated and even aggressive, particularly towards Ali. Some of the attendees couldn't help but wonder if the animal's behavior was a sign of some underlying suspicion or unease, fueling speculation about what truly happened to Sarah. But no one dared touch the snake. Curious about why the snake would do such a thing, Sarah's father, who was not afraid of the snake, touched his daughter's hand and was surprised to feel it was still warm. He quickly whipped off the dirt of Sarah and raised her out of the grave. My daughter! Are you there? Can you hear me? Please say something, he pleaded. What happened next was so bizarre. To everyone's surprise, Sarah suddenly gasped for air and sprung awake. She had been alive this whole time. Everyone screamed with surprise and happiness while Ali was horrified and fled the scene. Sarah went home with her parents to heal. In the weeks following, the investigation had continued. The police had interviewed all of Sarah's acquaintances, including her husband whom they had managed to apprehend. While he had initially been cooperative, his story began to unravel under scrutiny. And when the evidence came back, it was clear that Ali was stalking Sarah all these months. He had snuck into her apartment by telling the landlord he was her husband and then had tried to poison her. The jury found the husband guilty and he was sentenced to life in prison for attempting to kill Sarah. Could you imagine your pet snake saving your life? Let us know in the comments below.